Mm, feeling a little paranoid lately? Well, you may have good reason to. Whether it's cash, incriminating pictures, or just stuff you want to keep private, we've got some nifty <gasps> hiding places you can use that no one will ever suspect. But don't forget to always check behind you. Alright, it's Monday morning, and time to get to work. Ugh, what is that taste in my mouth? Perhaps chowing down on the second helping of garlic chicken last night wasn't the best idea. Looks like a fresh mint is just what the doctor ordered. Whoa! If you share an office with a bunch of mint moochers like Mia here, you know the pain of having to share your stuff. If only there was a way to keep your mints out of plain sight so no one could steal them from you anymore. Snag an old container like this one and put your mints or gum in there. Next, put the container underneath the plant right there in the pot. Great, that fits perfectly. Put that sucker right back onto your desk and no one will ever know your precious mint stash is hiding in there. In fact, those are so well hidden you may forget they're even hiding in there yourself. But in the meantime, you can enjoy fresh, garlic-free breath any time of the day, moocher-free. Ah, that's so much better. Ugh, biology class. Next to the weirdo in the class. As if sitting through a boring lecture weren't bad enough, all of a sudden, you realize… It's that time of the month, and definitely time to make an emergency trip to the ladies' room. Oh god! Ew, mind getting that tampon away from my paper? I don't know what to say. This is the most embarrassing thing ever! Okay, let's take a few steps back here. Next time you're scrambling for a tampon in your purse, try this nifty little trick. Take an old lipstick or chapstick container like this one and make sure the makeup is out of it. Place a small tampon inside the container where the lipstick would normally go. Super easy, right? So next time you're in class and having a… well, moment, take comfort in the fact that you've lessened your chance of having a super embarrassing moment. And off you go! Hey girl, so sorry to keep you waiting. The traffic was awful. Ugh, that's annoying. Now come on, just get in there! Why won't this thing stay in my pocket? What's a girl gotta do to enjoy a friggin' soda here? How about my back pocket? Whoopsie! If you're looking for a place to tuck your phone away, we've found a great solution. Take a sock like this and stick it just behind your jeans pocket like this. With a needle and thread, sew one side of the sock to the top of the inside of your jeans. But instead of a regular running stitch, wrap each stitch in front of the needle like this. Put the stitch through again to secure the knot. With the needle, flip these loops up so they're no longer laying flat against the fabric. Now pull the string tight so the loops disappear. Pretty cool, huh? Finally, pull the needle through the end of the line one more time and cut it from the inside of the sock. So. Go ahead and spill that juicy gossip you've been teasing me with all week. Oh, hold on a sec. Okay, let me show you the pictures Amy sent me of her new haircut. You'll die. These are the before pics. And these are the after. Way better, am I right? And once you're done with that phone, you can stick it right back in your pocket. Oh, there's Amy chomping away on M&Ms again. Man, I could really use some of those right now. Maybe if I ring this doorbell a couple of times, Amy will leave the candy alone so I can steal some. That's weird, I'm not expecting company. <sighs> I'd better get the door. And it worked! The candy is mine! Time to dig in! Hello? Anyone there? That's odd. Better eat as many as I can before she realizes there's no one at the door and comes back. Oh no! Amy's coming back! Oh, screw it. Just grab as many as you can and get out of there, Helly. Okay, where were we? Hey, where is all my candy? Oh, come on! It's all gone? Not one piece left? Wait a minute. I have an idea. You look innocent enough, Mr. Teddy. I'm gonna turn you into the perfect hiding spot. Okay, if you're squeamish, you may not like what you're about to see. Just kidding. Kind of. Don't worry, you'll reattach it later. Go ahead and take some of the fluff out to make room for the jar you'll put in there. Get a small jar or a container like this one, take the lid off, and place it into the torso of the bear. 
With a glue gun, outline the jar just under where the lid will screw on and press the surrounding fur on it. Pour anything you want in there. Candy, pretzels, you name it. Now put the bare head with the glued lid under it right back onto the top of the body. Screws right on, see? Aw, so cute! And when you get hungry for a snack, pop that sucker's head right off and take a handful of sugary goodness. Oh gosh, is that Helly I hear? Quick, hide the candy! Oh, hey! Nothing to see here. Hey, is that chocolate I smell? Nope, don't know what you're talking about. Just chewing some gum, that's all. Could have sworn I smelled chocolate. Okay, in 1902, who, who discovered what? I can't write these notes fast enough. Well, Vicky has other plans. She's about to pass Amy a note. Okay, fire! Perfect hit. Oh, a note from Vicky. I wonder what it says. Silence! Oh, man, busted. Next time you want to pass notes in class, try to take the sneakier route so you'll never get caught again. Reach into your bag for a regular hairbrush. Discreetly brush your hair. Nothing's weird about that, right? Now take your note and fold it up nice and small. Now put it in the brush behind the bristles. It fits perfectly. Hey, Vicky, you need to borrow my brush, you say? Here you go. Why, thanks, Amy. Okay, yes, totally listening right now. Let's see what this note says. Oh my gosh, Tony likes me? I knew he was giving me eyes at lunch, yes! Oh, yes, right, paying very close attention to this lecture, yes. After a long day out, you probably take off all your jewelry and stick it into a glass jar or a jewelry box like Helly is doing here. From bracelets to earrings, all your precious jewels are kept in this special box. But what if this box is just sitting around for someone to come by and snag? Like for someone with sticky fingers like Amy here. Uh-oh, looks like Amy has spotted Helly's stash. <whistles> yup, here's Amy adorning herself in all of Helly's most expensive jewels. Is it just me or do I look like Egyptian royalty? Um, hello? Amy, what are you doing wearing all my jewelry? Okay, fun's over. Fork up the jewels, girl. Oh man, but your jewelry is so much prettier than mine. Thank you. If you have curious roommates like Helly does, keeping jewelry in plain sight around the house is a super easy way to encourage theft. Instead, put all your jewelry into a tall drinking glass like this one. I know it looks weird, but don't worry, you'll understand why in a minute. Now, place the glass into a tall, transparent canister like this one. <sighs> but you can still see right through this thing. To make it so you can't see what's inside, go ahead and pour something like popcorn kernels around the glass inside so that's all you can see from the outside. See? You'd have no idea jewelry was in there. Pop off the lid and you're good to go. Ha! That'll teach Amy not to mess with my stuff again. This next secret hideaway hack is perfect for us ladies with outfits that don't have pockets. With a glue gun, go ahead and glue shut one end of the tube. Put a dot of hot glue at the opposite end on top of the tube. Place a little snap on there and press it on tight. Put another dot of glue on the bottom of the sock and attach a piece of ribbon to it with the other half of the snap attached to the other end. Now, loop this ribbon around the middle of one of your bras and attach it to the snap up top. I wonder where that guy is with those secret pictures I requested. He said to meet him here. Hey, don't move. Here's your top secret flash drive. Whoa, where'd that money just come from? What are you, some kind of alien or something? I don't want to know. I was never here. Mia is using an old-school piggy bank to save up for her next big purchase, a brand new car. I wonder how fast she'll come up with enough dough. Let's start things off right with this crisp new $20 bill. It seems small now, but in a few months, these little contributions will really add up. Wow, look at all that cash! What a beautiful day to check up on my ever-growing piggy bank. Wait a second. Where's my cash? <gasps> no! This can't be happening! Oh man, that was a total nightmare. I can't let anyone steal all my hard-earned money. 
I've got to find a better hiding spot. Instead of keeping your money in an obvious place like a jar that literally says piggy bank on it, yep, washing machine it is. Instead of a piggy bank, try putting your cash in a baggie like this one. Make sure you close it up tight so that no excess water can get to the money. This way you can tuck it right into the inside of the machine. See? And once it's tucked in there nice and tight, you can go about doing your laundry as usual. Who knew a regular old washing machine could serve as a top secret bank? But don't forget to check on it from time to time to make sure it's safe. See Mia? That car will be yours in no time. Just don't get tempted to spend the money on anything else. Uh-oh. All right, gang. You've earned yourselves some hilarious bloopers. Enjoy! Love our videos? Never miss out again and subscribe to 123Go's channel. Don't forget to share these hiding spot hacks with your sneaky friends and fam. Until next time!